Hi everyone, I'm Clem and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about five books I loved when I first read them, but unfortunately I forgot most of it or I completely forgot them and it's really a shame because I really like them and it means I have to reread them in order to remember them. So the first book I'm going to mention is actually Hoprooted by Naomi Novik. Um, so in this book, uh, you're in this magical world where the woods are alive and they're actually um, destroying people and killing people because like they're spreading all around the kingdom. And the people who are fighting this wood um, are wizards, like sorcerer magicians. And uh, so we're following the main character. She's uh, called Agnieszka and Agnieszka lives in this town. And in her town, there is a wizard tower. And every 10 years, the wizard comes to the village and he picks a girl that will come with him in his tower. And no one knows what happened to the, to the girl that he picks. Um, and so um, usually he picks the, a very beautiful girl and everyone thought it was going to be Agnieszka's uh, best friend because she's the most gorgeous girl in the village. But actually uh, he picks Agnieszka and so Agnieszka goes in this tower and you're going to learn a lot of stuff about him but also about the woods and also about his life and it's really interesting. I really loved it when I, re when I read it first. But I can't remember a thing. The only thing I can remember is that at the beginning, Agnieszka keeps on vomiting everywhere. And you see, like, I hate myself for remembering only that because this book was really amazing. I remember that I loved the world building, but I don't remember the world building. So I definitely want to reread this book this year because I want to know why it was amazing. I can't remember how it ends. And like, I hate myself for that, like, this book deserves better, I'm sure, and it's so beautiful. <laughs> okay, I'm going to read it this year because I need to know if I still like it, and I need to write a review in order to not forget this book again. The second book uh, on this list is actually Scythe by Neil Shusterman. I read this book in 2018, so two years ago. And I did a body read with Rebecca and she hated it. That's what I remember. And I remember enjoying it, even though I have to admit that there are issues with this book and stuff that are problematic, but I still liked it. Um, and I remember that I was blown away with the ending, but as you can guess, I don't remember it. I remember only few a few things from this book like not enough in order to read the second one and the third one um if you don't know what scythe is about you're living in this world futuristic world where there's no death like no disease no war you can't die but you still have to regulate the population and this is the job of the scythe and they come and they kill you and at the beginning you're following um Citra and Rowan and they're taken by the scythe to become scythe themselves like they're going to learn with um what's the name of the scythe um I don't remember the name of the scythe they're following but he's going to teach them how to become a scythe and actually you're discovering that this scythe society is way darker and actually that there's a lot of problem in this society and I loved it um but I want to read Thunderhead that I have here for like one or two years, but I don't remember this, I don't remember the characters, I don't remember anything, I know that people die, but I don't remember who. Like, my brain is a mess, I don't understand how I can forget so quickly a book I loved. Because books I hate, I'm going to remember them all my life. I can tell you that I remember Divergent and Fire very well. and. It's not supposed to be like that. So this is also um, good uh, for reread. Next, um, a few years ago, maybe three years, maybe four, I read the first uh, volume in uh, the Fallen Kingdom series by Morgan Rhodes. Um, I loved it. Um, I loved 
uh, reading this book. I remember it. I was so into it. I checked on Goodreads and I gave this book five out of five stars. So I definitely loved it. Um, my best friend at, uh, at the time was reading it also and she read maybe the first three books and she liked it and what I really wanted to read this series and I think I still do I'm not sure but this is a high fantasy uh, series where you're following a bunch of characters in this world but you see I don't remember a thing about this book I just remember the first chapter because like the all the characters are meeting and there is a problem like because I think they don't come from the same kingdom and they fight like for something they buy and I remember that at the end there is a huge battle and there is something with a ring and that's all I remember but you see I'm not sure I want to read the series um like if I still want to read it because I think there are like eight or six books it's pretty long and I feel like no one is reading it uh, at the time and I mean like it's okay because I don't have to read what everybody else reads but am I am I ready to like start a six book series I'm not sure but you see um I'm really sad that I don't remember this book better because I could tell myself like take a decision about this series. Am I going to read it or am I not going to read it? So I think maybe next year, at the beginning of the year, I'm going to reread or maybe listen to Fallen Kingdom just to take a decision about this series and to see if I'm going to read, to read it or not. But you see, basically this video is me telling you what books I need to read. I mean, to reread. Okay, the next two, I'm really mad about myself because like, I hate myself for it. Actually, I was going to mention um, A Conjuring of Light or Gathering of Shadows by the Schwab, so the second and third book in uh, the Shade of Magic trilogy, but um, I actually remember them pretty mu pretty well. I thought, like this one, I remember it, but A Gathering of Shadows, I thought I forgot what happens, and I think I forgot like the main plot but I forgot some events in it. Like, for example, I remember that there is a game in it and that Lila wins it. Or does she? I don't remember. But you see, I know that several things are happening in this book that are pretty important to the story and to understand the third one. So maybe I'm good to reread this trilogy. Not now, because like I don't want to reread yet, but I forgot most of the second book. I don't know why or I only remember the moment I liked because the second one is it my favorite I don't even know I think it's my favorite and I forgot it like the problem with this series is that I know a lot of stuff like I I have a lot of events in my mind but I don't know in which book it's happening so for me in the last one most of the things I remember are happening but maybe not like where like, there is this story with the brother. When is this happening? I know some things. I'm so bad. So you see, actually, I don't remember them that well. So I don't know why. It's just because I think I make, like, a mix of everything. And boom, it's just one book. But actually, it's not that. It's three books. And I should remember them better. And last but not least, it's... A series that I completely forgot about and it's the Raven Cycle uh, Quartet by Magis Stivate. and it's a bit like Shade of Magic because for me I know stuff I can't tell you when they're happening like if you pick um, each character I can tell you very vaguely what happens to them but the story in itself like I know people are dying, but I don't remember when or who or why. Uh, there's characters I know, but I don't know when they appear in the book. And there is this old quest with the Raven King. Um, I know pretty much what happens, but really, really vaguely. So um, I really, really want to read this uh, series because first I want to see if I'm still going to like it because I know it's a series that gets a lot of hate uh, from BookTube and the book community. And I want to read now that I'm 23. 
Um, and also, I want to remember it better because I liked it and I think I would understand a lot of things better now if I read it now because when I first read it, a lot of things were blurry and I think it was because it was one of the first books I read in English and I was not used to it. So I'm going to give this trilogy another try, not another try, like to reread it in order to remember it. And I'm going to take notes because I don't want to be here forgetting I don't even know how this trilogy ends, uh, not trilogy, series ends. And I know my two best friends, if they see this, they're going to hate me for it. But I don't remember how this ends. Like, how is it possible? I loved the last one. It was one of my favorite. And I forgot it? How? My brain, can you explain? Explain yourself. Why are you doing this? Really, I'm mad at myself. And pretty much this video is also me complaining. Um, but yeah, um, so I'm all, I'm sure you all know what the Raven Cycle is about. Uh, you're following um, a bunch, like four boys who are looking for this dead Welsh king. That's supposed when you find him, it's, I don't even remember what it's supposed to do. Maybe eternal life or, well, like wealth. I don't really remember. And you have this girl, Blue Sergeant, and she's from a family of witches. And the thing with her is that uh, since she was a little girl, she's been told that uh, she will kill a first love by kissing him. And yeah, and she meet those boys and they go on this quest together. But actually, she don't. She doesn't like them at first, but uh, they become friends and everything. I really liked it. It's magical realism. I loved it, but I don't remember it. So yeah, guys, that's it for today. I hope you liked it. I know it was like just me talking about things I forgot. Tell me in the comments down below if you already forgot, uh, forgotten a book. I would love to know and love to know that I'm not the only one who forgot books. Uh, anyway, uh, don't forget to like this video and to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time. Bye guys!